All right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. All right, so we get another look here at the Motown Phenom, Kevin Lee. He's realized success in two UFC divisions. Remains to be seen as to whether or not he'll be at lightweight or welterweight going forward. But when this guy puts it all together, DC, he is absolutely a pro. Kevin Lee is one of those guys that has every ability inside of the octagon. He's a phenomenal boxer. He has great grappling skills, but ultimately what he needs to rely on is his wrestling. He wrestled at Grand Valley State University, same place as Tony Ferguson, and had a really good career there. When he relies on that, when he takes guys down and is able to use his wrestling to dictate the pace of the fight, he's generally successful. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body, but it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with the same height and some differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Kevin, the Motown Phenom Lee. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, Black Mamba. Okay, could take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. You ready? Oh, it's always good to be here in H-Town, Houston, Texas. We are live at Toyota Center tonight. We see this is a venue that has been good to you and your team, and we'll see who can make some more UFC history here tonight. Houston is just a great fight city. You can think of Vegas, Brazil, Canada. Sometimes Houston gets overlooked when some of the biggest fights have happened in the Toyota Center. This is a great fight venue for all UFC fights. He's back to the position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head of the clinch. What a body kick. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. 
right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, and he's back up again. Beautiful kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, right, then a left. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed Double for Kevin Lee. Oh, crowd really enjoyed that one. What goes up must come down. Man, I mean, what would what would that do to me? I'd be out like half a year, bro. You'd be done, John. You would not be calling fights. You would not be working anymore. Oh. Your back would be out. But not, people get mad when somebody wrestles too much, and they always enjoy slams like that. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by like getting hit over and over in the face. Shot a double leg. Oh, massive slam! That'll change the complexion of this one. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Ooh. Lands a good combination. Oh, big hook, that'll stick. Landed a good uppercut there. Knee to the body. Hip tosses into the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. All right, working inside the closed guard now. And look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Oh, nasty elbows now, DC. Hard to see if the cut's been opened up, but you gotta think at some point there's gonna be some blood. You gotta be so close to fight and throw this many elbows back to back. Great job. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find oh, his range nice here. Job. That was nice, but a takedown attempt. Oh, watch QT here. Oh, no. Nice job, Kevin Lee. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters up right. Whoa! And a very close run. A takedown like that might be the difference. Oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the bell. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the horn. And now, a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool. And he's only got 60 seconds to recover here. So we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now, his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Third round underway. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost. Oh! Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. I'll take it down. There you go. Oh, high amplitude slam for him there. Wow! He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh! Lee's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Able to check that kick as well. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh! Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the truck, wow, actually got the and This might just be a matter of time. Wow. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Both fighters back to their feet now. Nice punch by Lee. Straight right is there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice hook by Lee. Oh. Whoa! Now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig it. He's going to attack. Oh, and he's out. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Lands with the ground and pound here. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. He goes to the body there. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Ready? Ready? Fifth and final round. Beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, big knee! He's a coach. He's hurt bad. Double leg shot. Oh, he slams him to the ground. Close guard. Back to the feet. Just 
the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now Ladies with the official the decision. Eve has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 13 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Black Mamba. So the...
ready? Winner!